Welcome back to Bump Love. Ladies, today we are going to start off by having a small exercise. So when I go koi koi, you say dia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. When I say hadithi hadithi, you say hadithi njo. Okay. okay. Right? Okay. So koi koi, dia. Yeah. Hadithi hadithi. Njo. Aha, hadithi njo. Come bring the story. Hey, hadithi njo. Hadithi njo. Yeah. Had... Tell us what we are saying before we summon our spirit. <laughs> <laughs> we might be here. Our ancestors are coming for us. Trust you, Nabat. Hadith enjoy. Before you know it. All right. <laughs> for our East African community, of course, Swahili is uh, an encompassing language. So, Hadithi is story. Oh, okay. So, the way we say koi koi. Yeah. Yeah. They say hadithi 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 njo. Okay. Yeah, so African storytelling is as old as time. Mostly written, but um, most of it is spoken. Okay. Yeah. That is um, transferred from generation to generation. Stories are lessons learned, experiences shared, all integrated into our lives. On the show today, we have a special guest. A woman of valor and integrity, yes. okay. a daughter, mm -hmm. a wife, mm -hmm. a mother, a friend, mm -hmm. a lover of life and positive mm -hmm. attitude. Yeah. 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 I'd like to welcome to the show Rosette Najemba Sekuja. <laughs> I mean, it's a great honor for me to be introducing Rosette's oh, story time. Oh, thank you. Often on the show, we are always discussing stories about our parents. Mm -hmm. And recently this year, Rosette's mom went to join the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, we would like to speak about that on today's story time. Yes. I'll start by asking, what kind of relationship did you have with your mother? Oh, well, it's nice to be a guest on that show. <laughs> show. Today. I know, right? And not a feel. host, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not the one asking questions. Yeah. It's it's lovely. I feel good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the way you introduced this after. You know, call you call you. Call you. <laughs> Where are we headed? <laughs> to enjoy. <laughs> that she wants to ask me questions in Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> But guys, um, my mom went to be with the Lord, but I had the most beautiful relationship with my mom. She was my run to every time I needed, if, every time I had good news. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know about you, but most times I, when I sit in the car or when I'm driving somewhere, it's my space to like call. I'm like, this is my time to call. Mm -hmm. So I'd hop into the car. If there's any problem at home, if it's the kids being sick, before I even go to the doctor yeah. or consult, I'll ask mommy first. You know how they have quick remedies yes. before you even run to the doctor? Yeah. Oh my God, how are you? All oh, the kids, she'll always ask, how are the kids? And you're like, Banange, we didn't sleep well. Mm -hmm. She was my run to when I needed to rant about anything yeah. and everything mm. yeah she was my go-to when i was excited about anything i remember the first time i drove a car you guys <laughs> my mom literally came out of the house and ululated <laughs> oh. yeah because you know that job i got i started driving in 2010 yeah I was, a bit, I was in my early 20s. Yeah. It was very exciting for me. It was a sales job. And you know, for many sales, people that are entering sales, they won't give you a car immediately. Yes. But who are the lucky ones to get cars? Yeah. So they were merging. They wanted more ladies in the sales. Oh. Yeah, in the sales. They, they, they had given many boys. And mm. they were like, no, you guys, we need to, we need to bring in some girls. More gender yeah. balance. More gender balance. So it was the two of us. It was actually myself and my friend, Sarah. Mm -hmm. We entered in, we had to learn how to drive in the first two weeks Whoa, because we had to learn how to drive manual yeah, cars yeah, used to in the first two car. weeks. So I learned how to drive in, in one week. I'm like, I need to I go home with my yeah. car. <laughs> So they gave those us. Those were trucks, was it? Those the pickups. Pick pick yes. So our service provider delayed the pickups. Like oh. they had ordered for this sales team. But when they delayed, these guys are like, no, we're not paying for transport for our team. So they gave us saloon cars. Oh. Yeah. Oh. As, as we wait, I think yeah, they yeah. came in like three months later. Oh. Yeah. But it was good practice for us. Yes. So they gave us our saloon cars, guys. I had to drive from Namanve, yes. use Northern Bypass 
up to buy a sick away. I remember thing. this song. I, I, <laughs> I should drum in gear. Oh too. my god. That really? Well, 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 well. You guys. <laughs> that feel well. You guys. <laughs> You guys, yeah. that was quite something. But many of us, when we started with yeah, our manual, manual cars, cars. Yeah. we drove in one gear. In one you drive in one gear. One. But first of all, I, I, I wasn't very confident with that road because it was kind of yeah. newish. Yeah. Yeah. New. And for a new driver, they would always tell you about oh, no, that road. No, no, no. <laughs> and it was far more cool. But then they and abused now, me. And there is driving they somewhere. They abused me. But why is it but now? <laughs> my dear, Oh. I did go home with my oh. number plate. Oh. I did. Ah. They serious? abused me. Ah. Are you serious? Yes. Now, is, if you want to learn know that your driving skills are mad, yeah. drive through Wai Sekawempe and Kalerwe Mpede. Kale yes. Ay, ay, That's ay, when you know, you have That's when you know you've arrived. Now yeah. for me, I mustered in that what Wahala. They abused me, but I, I, I got home. Yeah. But actually yeah. got off. I, I got off from Tinder mm -hmm. because I, I thought I would get lost. <laughs> but I was covered that with that Tinder branch. So I was like, no. Yeah, now right. I suffered on that hill hmm, to get to the mainland. Balancing. The balancing. Yeah. You guys, I struggled with that car, but I had to reach it home. Mm. I drove all the way home. My mom was excited. Oh, oh my God, my daughter, she brought her car. It was the only car in the family. Mom. Yeah, because then my dad hadn't bought his car. That, that was, oh. yeah, that yeah. he has now. Yeah. He was actually living, he was in the village, like he had started a farm, yeah. a farm there. Yeah. So, yes. We were here, Bambi with my mom. Bambi, that car really took us at wow. all the functions, wow. all the pregamba. I was the rich one of the family. <laughs> it was a blessing. True. But we were very close. And yeah. when, I, when, I, when I became a mother, we grew closer. Yeah. We grew closer. Yeah. Before we were close, I knew that she loved me because she had so much grace. So, yeah. Bambi, she's those moms who would, younger, you know she loves you. Yeah. I remember senior four. Senior four and six for both parties. Mm. She went, I look back in retrospect and see how she went out of her way to get up the best outfits. Mm. Like I really had a cute dress mm. for my form four leavers party. Mm. She went to those dope shops. You know, the first, by, by then would be like, ah, ah, as we'd shop in DT. Yes. Yes. Her mom is like, my mom had class. Why she didn't have enough money? Yeah. Yeah. She would be had like, class. but you guys, yeah. she had class. Yeah. Maybe her man had pulled her out of Charlo. <laughs> A man had pulled her out of Charlo. She had class. Mm. And she's like, what you guys? How can you say you, want, you wear clothes of DT? Mm. There are shops here that shops. have dope clothes. Mm. Like fashion episode. Mm. 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 She yeah. recommends fashion episodes. But of course, our, our wallets would yeah. only what? Yeah. Detail mm. DT. We are like, DT, I got a unique outfit. Don't yeah. tell me fashion <laughs> episode. But <laughs> downtown, or we know. Second hand, second -hand, second -hand oh, clothes. Yes. DT, yeah. yeah. So mm. that's where I would shop. Most of our, you know, uh, outfits, outfits yeah, yeah, when we were younger. 3K, 2K, 1K. Uh -huh. I tell you, for me, I started shopping. Uh, oh, 500. Uh, yeah. 1K, uh -huh. you get a top and everyone is asking, where, where did you, you get, get that top <laughs> from? And, and you would say? I would go to school and they want my top for photos. I yeah. Know. The weekend photos. Yeah. yeah. So, in fact, for me, that's where my car designer thing oh, came in. Really? Like, I would go and pick nice things and match them and... Yeah, yeah, so that's how it grew. But my mom was, I knew she loved me. I was her last born for about 17 years before yeah. my, my young brother came in. Mm. And she raised us well. She was not toxic with us. She was really a good mom. Mm. She was, a, that, that's a relationship I but remember. She, she, was, mm, yeah. she was a good mom. She was mm. my best friend, she was. literally. Oh. We, we could tell, I mean, hearing you speak about her on the show was, was really special. Yeah. And I mean, when we got the news that she had passed, mm. I remember being in so much shock. I mean, we knew yeah. she was sick. Yeah. Um, and so, are you at liberty to share, like, about her passing of course you know, how long was she sick <clears throat> mm. so um in fact someone was mentioning that when someone had I, one of our viewers had that my mom had passed because i mentioned in the earlier show she had that my mom had passed and she remembered that i'd shared she had beat cancer yes. Yes. at the end of 2022 yes. yeah yes. so uh, back to the story on beating after covid after after that covid season my mom got a strange pain in her stomach. Mm. Like it was so strange. She didn't know what to do. We tried everything. You know how you want to try everything before you, 
you 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 escalate. you know you escalate yeah. mm. so we were like okay should we go to the chinese we we'll got money let's go to this chinese place i think we have fibroids i think i have fibroids mm. okay let's try this herbal she did it all but the problem mm. persisted the persisted. pain persisted she would literally walk while she was burning and all her neighbors kept asking her about you what's happening mm. until i told her you know what you need to check with that doctor so she went to a guy and the guy told her, you know what, I think you, you need to come through for an operation. Mm. We can't just be guessing. You can't be guessing with your life. Mm. So, um, Operation to open to see what the problem operation is. Operation to open to see what's happening in, in the stomach. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she was, you know, uh, uh, the husband was very skeptical. She was also skeptical. You know, old age, you don't want to go through mm. operation, uh, operation yeah. for anything. You're yeah. thinking, if, if I can heal this without, you know, having to, you know, open me open apart. Me up. Uh, this would be better. So, um, you know, she just asked us to look for money, guys. I had to empty my account for my mother because we needed lots of money. And there were two, two operations that were done on her. Mm. The one that uh, they had to remove the uterus and then check on the intestine. So they cut a bit of what was in the intestine mm. to check what the problem was. Biopsy, so I remember vividly because my mom... My mom has so much grace. Mm. If, if, if you're tired or if you tell her, mom, can't this wait? She can actually give you leeway to wait. Yeah. But one evening, she called me. Her voice was in so much pain. Like we had been talking about this. Okay, for me, because I kept telling her, whatever you decide, I'm ready. Don't even think about the money. We'll get the money. Mm. Whatever you decide, if you want us to go for this operation, we'll go for it. Mm. So she calls me one crazy evening, guys. That evening had crazy jam. She calls me at about five and tells me, come home. I can't breathe. I'm dying. I felt it in her voice. I knew that she couldn't even give me grace. I, I told her, Banai, Mami, there's a lot of jam. She's like, Mukwano, mfa, I'm dying. I'm in pain. I can't take this. Mm. I was like, I have to go. I, to go. I, I, I was in that jam for two hours, more than two hours, three yeah. hours. Mm. I think that was Yusuf Lule. But from Yusuf Lule oh. to uh, whatever, to get to Bwai Sekawempe, three hours. I was exhausted. You know those evenings where you're yes. like, if I could just fly oh. and dump this car somewhere. Yeah. You know, we love our cars, but guys, when there's when traffic, the traffic <laughs> you're, you're yeah, looking like, at that, that, border, <laughs> that border <laughs> chick who is running where she is, that and you're like, I wish I was that, that girl. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I stood in that jam and reached there and packed her bags. And we went to the guy, and we went and checked in. Mm. And did, when you found her, she was in that pain. She in but that like pain. she had been crying about that pain. But I think now it had intensified yes. to a point that she couldn't take it. As the only one she could call, because mm. I'm the one that drives. My sister doesn't drive yet, so I went and told her, "Mommy, let's go." So you've decided me what you decide. I decide if you want to go for this C-section, let's go. So I took her. Hold on. Um, let me just dial back a little bit. I'm a bit slow. Um, this is after the first bout. She's gone into remission. Mm. No, no, no. She this is the very first one. The, oh, this the, is the, the, now the, the, the beginning of the problem. Yeah, so, yeah the beginning of okay. the problem. In case so, anybody else was lost, we confused. are there. We yes. were together. Here. Yeah, even oh, here. Really? I, was in the second. I was also on you the, the second. second? Yeah. No, this was the very okay. first one. Okay. Now we this is together. before the operation, okay. remember? Yes. So I carry her. We go do the operation. The operation. We, they, 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 the, the, the guy came in the next day and, you know, had to take us through the operation. I had to call dad to come in. My sister was there. This operation took about six and a half hours. Jesus Christ. Six and a half hours. Yeah. Guys, we were in hospital. We were panicking. Yeah. We didn't know what to do. But she came out, yes. thankfully. She came out the first time. She came out. Mm. She was all right. She came straight to my place because I didn't want her to go home. There was not enough care. Yeah. And she was very vulnerable. She needed mm. someone to bathe her, like li literally take care of someone that has been from theater. Mm. So I was glad to, of course, be the one taking For me, Bambi, it was a delight. You yeah. know how many people, like you lose your mom and you're like, I wish I was there. Yes. Yeah. So for me, I think that's what comforts me. Okay, I'm running to the end. But anyway, <laughs> yes. I took care of my mom this first time. So when I go home, 
we've not even known about cancer yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we've gone home. We are thinking, okay, they found out what the problem is. The operation has been done. Yes. Let's wait and see as we heal. So she had to do a review mm. <clears throat> a month later. And that's when we were called in for this information. On the guy telling us this information, she was even worried. You know how many times when they tell someone they, they have cancer, the emotions, eh? yeah. they're already thinking, Banangi, I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah. When did I get this cancer? Yeah. So it was, it had already escalated. Remember this whole time of let's do Chinese, yeah, let's do herbs. Yes. It had escalated. We were at stage three. It was, yeah. it was very scary because beating stage three yeah. is hard. But we received the news mm. as with her, thankfully, before we went, I had um, a friend, a very spiritual friend who came and prayed for us mm. that evening before we went. And she told us, guys, you're beating this. She's like a prophet, mm. Rachel, my Rachel. prophet friend. Yeah, Rachel. She came and said, mommy, you're beating this. Me, I'm praying for you. I'm believing for you. Whatever it is, you're beating it. So even when we got that, can that, that cancer results, guys, we were strong. Mm. The guy was even the one scared to tell us. She was like, guys, I have good and bad news. But the bad news, guys, the truth is, you have cancer. We're like, okay, uh huh. Next. Mm -hmm. We're ready. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. We were strengthened already spiritually. We were ready for whatever it is. But I need you to know that the Cancer Institute is crazy. Put all these things together. I don't want you to get scared. Uh, many times when you go there, it's crazy. She warned us. Mm -hmm. And guys, the Cancer, the cancer Institute, Institute the health. The Ministry of Health needs to do something. Yes. Honestly, yes. honestly, you find guys lying outside, like the patients are too many. Mm. It's overwhelming. Mm. Anyway, we go, so they give us the news. <clears throat> it didn't hit us. We're like, what? Uh, we have a God. We are going yeah. to beat this cancer. So we go and start. Banange. At that time, I was still, I hadn't actually left my formal employment. Yeah. yeah. I was still struggling with both work stress and mom. Mm -hmm. I had to literally take her to Mulago like thrice a week. So I would balance, like you can't be telling your manager that I'm oh, um, yeah, off duty true. every morning yes. and would always have these Zoom meetings. I literally remember one Zoom meeting where I had to sat, sit out <clears throat> those verandas at the mm -hmm. hospital and take the, the meeting. I was stressed about mom. My boss was hitting me because the targets were not targets, met. Yeah. Oh, you guys, it best. was yeah. crazy. It was a crazy season for me. And just like mom, because when mom, mom got cancer, she told us, don't tell people. I don't want people to come here saying, you're dying. You have cancer. No, I don't want that bad energy. Mm. I don't want that bad energy near me. I'm beating this. Mm. So we didn't tell nobody. So That's the truth. It was a family mm. thingy. Like we kept our, to us, we just said, yeah, she had an operation. And of course, that was good enough. Yes. Hey, they, they operated her. Let's come and check on her. So they would Bambi come to my house and check on her. Those that cared too, of course, you know, in that time, that's when you really know your people. Hmm? Yeah. Those that cared to, came, to come through, they did. But I remember it being a very tough season for me. We did, we did the screening. Thank God I had an OB who works at the Cancer Institute. So he helped us a lot with ensuring that she gets treatment. So she went on to chemo, her hair off. She was strong this whole season. Hair off, what, 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 she beat it. At the end of the year, mm. we went back to check and they were saying we don't see any, anything. Yes. Yeah. I this truly, is 2022. Mm. This is 2021. 20, mm. mm. yes. This is 2021. Yes. I truly believe that God gave my mom a second chance to witness my sister's wedding. Oh. oh. So 2022, is when your sister's mm. wedding. my sister gets proposed to. She mm. didn't propose. Yes. She was proposed to. <laughs> She was proposed to by a pastor. Yeah. She got married. It was quick, a very quick proposal. But again, you guys, my mom was excited. Oh, it yeah. was like God kept her alive yeah. for that. Yeah. I even told my really sister hard. she got goosebumps. Like I discerned it honestly. Yeah. So her hair back on now. Oh. You know, we had beat it that, the, yes. that time. Yes. We went through it. Yeah. We beat it. We came back and to our feet. Came back, came back to our feet. 
came out to her face, she was stronger, hey, 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 news of uh, Bufumbo, Gawin. Mm. Where are the shops planning? And oh. I was so excited. It was a beautiful wedding. She was excited. If it was like my mom, it was the other Mogoli. Yeah. When the daughter changed, she would also change. <laughs> oh. Oh. Even for the Kwanjula. Even, okay, for the Kwanjula, not, not so much. Color, but for the wedding. You know yeah. how mothers, in Buganda, in the mothers Buganda. are not supposed to come yeah. out. Yeah. But yeah. they gave her a segment where she has to come out. Before the Bako come. Oh. These days there's a segment. You know, they always hide there, no makeup, yeah, be there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. She came out, guys. I am the mother of the bride. Yeah. They played for her, her music. She's a vibe, my mom. Hey. She loves yeah. the life. Yeah, the after <laughs> where are you? Yeah. 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 So she's very, she was excited, guys. So we blood, we were happy. The intro was very colorful. And then the wedding came when my, my sister changed in church. She also had a gomesi. I go to the reception. I'm seeing another changing of good. <laughs> I'm like, wow, mom. Oh. So she was very excited. Wow. Come 2023, beginning of the year. Yes. Mm. I had just resigned. Starting a new, a fresh. I'm happy. I'm in a new vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Mom is like, guys. This thing has resumed, man. I feel terrible. Really? So we go back. We are like, now let's go and check. Was there any help at the Cancer Institute? Nothing. I the remember machines called were me that day. Broken. The machines were broken. For like the first quarter of the year. Yeah. We would always go. Over blood cut. Nothing. No attention. My, my friend, my Obi Julius. Oh, Julius, you did an amazing Hello. job. Thank you. He works at the Cancer Institute. He could not even help us, guys, to a point where you wait for your results for three weeks. Yeah. Just yeah. blood sample. Yes. Because there's a queue. It's not like they don't want to give oh. you. There's a long queue of people who have been waiting before you. You guys, eh? You can't jump the line. You can't jump the line. Hmm? Cancer is this rampant in this country. Yes. It is. Before, because you know before you have a cancer patient you, you don't know you hear people yeah, talking about it true. now it was me it came to my house i was like what what this is emotionally draining me in all sorts of ways you have a lot to deal with your kids are sick while your mom is sick there's things that are not aligning but you have to i had to stay strong for my mother because at this point, she needed emotional support, yeah. financial support, every kind of support you can bring on. I remember many times, what would heal her is just as, you know, I would, we, I had, she, she, she came and stayed at, at the guest, in fact, the kids still call it Jaja's room, yeah. at the guest room. Like, she, I was with her for, for a couple of months, really. And... We were there and I would go to her room and just speak positivity yeah. and you would tell that's all she needed for that day. Mm. Yeah. Oh. She, she, you, you could tell that she wants to be strong, but she was in pain. So um, cancer, that, that cancer, I, I did my research and I, I, I saw that stage three is difficult. Mm. Yeah. Like you, you, you could yeah, beat it, but you can, it can, it, it's, you can, it can reoccur at any time. So this is exactly what happened. What cancer was it again? Was it? Endometrio. Endometrio. Endometrio yeah. cancer. So it reoccurred and we, you know, by the time we thought about other remedies, it was already escalating. We needed to just confirm which stage it's, it's at right now. Yeah. You know how it has resurfaced, but you're thinking, okay, what stage is it? We could beat this, yeah. but can you find this yeah, information results. anywhere? Yeah. So you know how weeks and months pass by. Before you know oh, it, imagine. month one has passed, month two. Okay, let's go real? back. Yes. Nothing. Me yes. one time I called. By the time we, like, I know. By the time we looked for a, a cancer specialist, who we paid an arm and a leg for treatment. Mm. Yeah, we did. But this was now much later when I think the cancer had what moved all over. Yeah, advanced all over the body. Um, mm. It was a bit late, mm -hmm. yeah, and it was expensive. She must have been in pain. She was in so much pain. I would, I appreciated, you know how you wake up and make a cup of tea and you're thinking it's normal life? Mm -hmm. My mom couldn't take anything. She would only drink water. 
like warm water you bring her food she just looks at it she's um she kept puking oh, no. guys the life in her was literally Draining. like drained yeah cancer can drain the life out of people you know before you you interact with a cancer patient people used to talk about aids and then we are like Manange, aids is a killer then the cancer people come and they're like my aids you're joking yeah. <laughs> this is the real way this, this is the way this is the real you guys yeah. you guys pain she would have she dreaded going down the stairs because that's the only time she would go down the stairs when i had to take her to hospital the rest of the time the bathroom is upstairs the food will be brought upstairs mm -hmm. going down those stairs and up back to her room you would feel like oh. like Paula. she had so much pain in this whole system and it kept escalating to up here by the time we got help by the time we opened our eyes to look for these other people that have you know alternatives, alternatives. it was lit yeah so we looked for a specialist i think two months before her passing mm -hmm. however mm -hmm. at the time when all this escalated i had traveled to sweden one of i, I want to call it my worst trips like i was excited to go to sweden mm -hmm. but like three days into my trip, my brother calls me and tells me, man, mommy fainted. Oh dear. She had fainted. Mm. I, told, I told him, just take her home. When I return, I need to find her home. Because mm. at this time, you know, after the first treatment, after her being home, you know, we talked about this, uh, the Baganda mothers, they don't want to be in that yeah, vicinity. Yes, the Abako, they don't want to yeah. be. However big our space was, because my husband didn't even have to interact with, with, with her at all. She had her own room, her own yes. bathroom. But she didn't want to be a burden. She's those people, she has so much grace. Like she will not have something that no one to burden you. Mm -hmm. yeah, she has so much grace. I remember, you know, she's those people of, I would call her for my kids' birthday parties, like close to home. Mm -hmm. And then when she has to return, she didn't expect you to now leave your home, pass your home and so take her and then come back. She'll be like, no, let's get another alternative. Now you're also tired. Mm -hmm. hey, at least Uber for me. First she was kawa, even a border would do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like you can Uber. I don't want you to drive and come back. Mm -hmm. And then you see here people who you just give lifts for a wedding. Imagine. They want you to drive them. <laughs> back at their doors. Back at their doors. You oh. get True. I'm like, but this guy, the audacity. <laughs> My <laughs> own mother has <laughs> enough grace That's to true. let me rest. You know how you can be tired. Then you're like, Bananga, I've given these people a lift. I wish they could just let me. You're and hoping, then continue. You're hoping they say, Bananga, you're but, hoping. but you can leave me there. Yeah. Bananga, they no, don't want. Wow. Pack a dust step. Our ma, so you're like, when I can gather through this, but Nedda. So you tell me. You tell me. You tell me. Then on two like you pick me but from my far. doorstep. But anyway, my mom wasn't that kind of person. Mm. She was very considerate. Like she would come for a party. She sees the kids, Bambi, have been making me run around. She really says, I'm tired. She's like, no, baby, go, go, go and go and take care of your family. So um, back to the story. I tell them, no, let me find her home. So I got sick on that trip. Yeah. Oh, and yes. then came back to a sick mother. Yeah. Her. Number two of now my stress. That's when we began, you know, looking, lo seeking Especially. no help whatsoever. By the time we realized we, 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 we got this specialist, I don't know what his name is, but he deals with cancer. Mm -hmm. He has, he was good. I like, I like the, the, the treatment that they gave us. Mm -hmm. The guy would, like, if they've done a blood sample, he would call you and tell you, everything you know how you see those results and you're like oh, that what is this, this? Yes. yeah yes. i like yes. that he was special in a way that he would tell you now this is what's happening we've checked your sugar levels this is... yes that you know where, where you're standing so yeah. he gave us very good care but unfortunately um she didn't make it mm. yeah she didn't make it i think uh two months to that treatment mm. and on the day of her passing guys i was very pissed I was very pissed because um, I've mentioned that my dad wasn't around. Most of the time, he was with me. Mm. 
But I also think that God had ordained for this to happen. So two weeks before her passing, my dad is like, I need to be with my wife. Oh, yes. I so remember. he didn't come home. Yes. I had to let her go to yes. her home. Yes. Right? Yes. So my, her sister was there with, 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 with my daddy, with yes. her husband, mm. for the past two weeks. And I just feel so bad. Like, when I look at it, I'm like, okay, when they announced to me, anyway, I was kawa. Like, all this time, I'm like, oh, Hooks, I can breathe now. Let daddy, you know, be the one so to now yeah. drive her to hospital. Yeah. yeah. Now, that Friday, the Friday of her passing, my vehicle had broken down a day before. I was supposed to actually go with dad to take her for a review. Yeah. I was just supposed to be a review because she was kawa. She was talking, regardless of that pain. Yeah. It was working, I had let them be. In fact, I hadn't checked on her for a week because I knew oh, she's with her sister yeah. and her husband. Yeah. And then, so Friday morning, I was supposed to go with daddy to take her to hospital. But because the car had broken down, I, I stayed home. Mm. At about 6 p.m., mm. my dad calls me. No, 6.30. 6.30, my dad calls me and tells me, you, you, Rose, he calls me Rose. Mm. My, your mom is not in a good state. Over you come. I'm like, Daddy, Chi Chi, over you come. Mm. Pressure, her pressure had risen. Uh, I wasn't there this whole time. Now uh, it's happening in her uh, home. Uh, I'm like, what the hell do I do? My car is broken. Uh, What's happening? I need to go. This is Zana to Gwaii. Thanks. So, um, he calls me the first time. I'm like, no, you, you take her, okay? Just take her to hospital there. Take her to the nearby hospital. So he fidgets. 30 minutes later, this is seven to be precise. Mm. He's calling me to tell me that she's gone. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. You guys. I'm like, these guys are not serious. Mm. Gone? How? What do you mean? It was crazy. It was the hardest news. I'm like, I shouldn't have let her go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If she was with me, yeah. yeah. If she was with me, this couldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. So that news hit me. I was like, I don't have a car right now. Mm -hmm. My husband had traveled. He was far. I had to order Uber, as with Maurice at that time. And become more I ran out of the house. I said bye to the kids. I ran out of the house like a mad woman. Because I needed to get home mm. to confirm. Like these guys are kidding. Yeah, I think that I need to reach and confirm if she's if she's okay. Mm. Maybe they I don't know. She could wake up. But I had to be strong for Maurice. That was my mom's baby. My mom's boy. She had one son who loved her so much, who she loved dearly. You know, mothers and their sons. Mm. So we order Oba, and I get home in the middle of the night. At about 7.30. In fact, I wanted the guy to use express, but then he cut, cut. He's like, no, let me find my uncles. Maurice was wailing in the car. Oh. And then I'm like, okay, be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong for your brother. You can't be like too mad people in this Uber. Mm. So I'm strong. I'm like, no, let me reach. I think when I reach, I'll just touch her and pray for her. Oh, she wakes no. up. Yeah. She was gone. So I reach and enter the bedroom and look at my mom. I hadn't seen her the whole week. I was this is the person I've been with all this time and she was okay. Was How do I leave you for two weeks and you You're leave? Gone. It was terrible. Losing a mom is the worst thing. Mm. I'm strong, I'm a strong person, but it mm. hit me. Yeah. It hit me, that was my mom. Someone I've known mom. all my yeah, life. A bond that I've built. Oh, guys, it was hard. It was hard. It was hard. My dad was. I've not so seen so. him like that. This was my dad's best friend. You guys, they had a bond. Eh? They had a special bond. 
it wasn't just me losing a mom. It was my kids losing a granny. It was my dad losing a, a friend. Mm. It was crazy. So we got there, but I look back in retrospect and believe that God wanted it that way. Because yeah. how would I have dealt with a dead mother from my home yeah. to wherever? Yes. And God needed for her husband to bid goodbye. That's yeah. True. Because yeah. how would he take it? How would he take it yeah. if he had yeah. not yeah. come? Yeah. yeah. But look at him deciding to come in that time that he came. Mm. So I put myself together after that. I'm like, no, I'm not going to will. This was a good woman. I know she has gone to be with the Lord. She was a good person. Her heart was pure. And I honestly believe that if you're that kind of person, we shouldn't will for you, we should celebrate you. So I started to celebrate the things that she did, the people that she helped, the lives that she touched the mother she was, the friend that she was, the person that she was. Mm. She was a good person. Mm. She was a helper. She was a helper. Mm. And on her passing, I think I mentioned on that show, there's two daughters, my uncle's daughters that mm. she, she raised. Like one, we took her over, she had started. Mm. Now there's a second one. And so you know how we always talk about African culture and how <laughs> yeah. uncles, you know, you know <laughs> even if they don't have, they'll say, okay, I can still have a sister. Mm -hmm. So this uncle would send, so she sent another one. And on, on her passing, actually when she was sick, she decided to let her go, she's called Fatuma, let her go to boarding school because now I can't what? Mm -hmm. take care of her. We called that girl out of school where they had taken her. It was a nearby school because now this is her mother now. Yes. This is the person taking care of her. Yeah. And she's gone. The girl wailed. Yeah. So this is the life that she lived. The people that depended on her. There are many lives that she touched. She's one person if you have a problem. I have friends that had issues in their marriages that came to live with her. Yeah. Mm. yeah. She would be like, be here, stay here for as long as you want here. Yeah. So she, she mothered anyone and everybody. Um, she had a restaurant, so she cooked food. But if you, if you came, Bambinga, you're broke. You didn't have, you know, to care for that day. She's like, Tawa, whenever you, you're, you're good, you can always, you know, come in and clear. So that was my mom. Her passing hit me. It hit me very badly. But I started to celebrate the life that she lived. I remember calling my husband and telling him at that point when we were in the Uber, because you guys, my mom, on, on that day, on Friday, on her, the day of her passing, she woke up and even talked to her, what? A neighbor, the guy there on the street, before my, my dad took her to hospital, because they went and returned, mm -hmm. and then she passed, she passed at home. Yeah. After yeah, the after visit. the hospital visit. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, like in her pain, you thinking, worry, we will survive. She's, she's kawa, she's not dying now. Mm, and I was believing for her, I was mm. praying for her. But I mean, I look back and I'm like, it is well. Mm. You went to risk because she was in pain. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, she died a little early. She died a little mm. early. I feel like, yeah, death robbed me. But it is well. Mm. Because at the end of that day, uh, we are all visitors on this earth. Mm. And death is a must for all of us. Mm. So you either believe it and, you know, take it in positively. Okay, I did. Maybe this could help someone out there. Yes. You know, to look on the positive side of death. Mm. Yeah. If you look back and believe that this person was good you believe that you will i honestly believe that i will meet her one day yes. i believe there's an afterlife and i believe that i will meet my mother one day so um the other day in fact when we went to the village to visit i saw my grandmother of 92 years is this your mom's mom my father's mother or your father's mother? yeah because my my father buried his wife at his side Yes. At his yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. At, at, his, okay. Home. at his home. At his home. Mm. At his home, yeah. Mm. So I was there and I looked at my grandma, 90 years, and I'm like, wow, God. Imagine. Wow. 92 
Okay. But can we ask you anything? I can't can start we, questioning you. Can we? Like, why did you take mine of just... She wasn't even 60 yet. Oh, oh my mom was young. She was young. She was, young. Mm. She was 57, wow. going to 58. 58, actually. Because she had us young. She had a lot, guys. I had prepared for my mother things. Yeah. I, you know, because I was telling her, Mommy, I'm taking you out of this rugged place. I'm, I'm so tired of, of why is it? Why is it? Like a fool, fool. The words. I'm like, so we went and picked land. I think close of 2022, she, in fact, we did it with her and we started, thankfully. Mm. I had money, I started. Mm. I told her, hey, you see, this is where I'm going to come and visit you. I'll bring the kids here yeah. for you. So she knew I had scheduled a Mombasa trip for her. Like, get out of this cancer things. I need you on your feet. We, need, we have flights to take. Right. I'm like, yeah, you guys, life, life, life is a mystery. Life is a mystery, but I'm glad that um, I took care of my mom. Yeah. I don't have no regrets. No regrets. Yeah. I don't have no regrets. I was happy with what I did, and I know that her soul was happy. Mm. She knew I had that her. She's loved. Uh, yeah, she yeah. knew that she was really loved by mm. us. I remember from those hospital visits, I'll take her to Javas and just ask her, what tell her, ask for right? anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's so sweet. You guys, know, eh? I remember. I remember when we came for the funeral. Mm. You know when you go for a funeral, um, you go there for, for the bereaved that you know. Yeah. Like for me, the person that took me to the funeral was Najemba. Yeah. Mm. And then I looked at her father. Yeah. There is, and not to, to genderize grief, mm. but there is a look and an, a vulnerability that comes from a grieving widower. widower. Yeah. Yeah. May even forgot in a gym, mm, but I just kept looking at the widow, like her dad. Mm. And of course my heart went out because he's like my father, we're of the same clan. Mm. So I just kept looking at him and you know, he's the one I wanted to hold, uh -huh. to yeah. hug, yeah. to talk to. Yeah. You could really see that my person has, has gone. gone. Mm. What do I do? I this is not how it's myself. supposed to happen. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. a thing many widowers have. They, they always know they are going fast. fast. Yeah. Yes. They always yes. know they are going fast. Now when you take them of, now what, now what do you want me to do? Mm. This is the person who has been, I've been with. This is my person. She's been taking care of me. Yeah. I could see it in his face, in his body. Mm. And I just, so, but Najamba, yes, you do say you're strong, but even just relieving this, yeah. it sounds so saddening and traumatic. Yeah. Yeah. You've already shared a little bit of how you, 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 you went through the season, mm. but what, 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 what strengthened you during this time? Like, how do you feel you went through, and this is through the illness and then the passing as well. Where did you draw your strength from? Can I, can I add a caveat to that question? Mm. I mean, even now, because mm. grief is, yeah. is a process, even it's now, a journey. Yeah. Like, what, what's, what keeps you strong? What keeps me strong? What keeps you every day waking every up the day. next day? Yeah. 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 The truth is, it's God. Mm. God. Yeah. But besides God, I have a very supportive husband. Mm. Ah. Very, very, very supporting, extremely supporting husband. Um, when I mentioned that, you know, I had asked them to bring mom to home, mm. my, my sister just had to call him and he's like, of course, bring her. Yeah. Is that a question? Yeah. Because we had been I'm through it, it, you know, initially, mm. and he was very supportive financially, mm. especially financially. Like, I can't be there and tell him I need, a, I have a bill of whatever much, mm. and it doesn't go out of his way. And I remember calling him while I was, in the Uber to give, the, give him the news that mm. mom is gone, like he was in shock. He's oh. like, how? What? He just told me, you know what? I'm covering this whole funeral. Oh. Don't stress, like stress about everything else, <laughs> but you're covered. Yeah. Whatever it is, yeah. don't worry about finances. You know how many times, you know, you, you, you're crying, you're but here morning, then you're money. thinking, oh my God, where is the money coming from? Mm. 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 So I, I knew that in that angle I was very sorted, but also through this whole season he would mm. be for us. Mm. You need fuel, everything was, was covered. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And of course, when I would have my emotional breakdowns, it's like, man, it is well. It is well. She will pull through. Mm-hmm. But my, I, I, he's not much a believer as I am because <laughs> me, I would, tell, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would tell, I would tell him, my mom is beating this. She beat cancer the first time, even now. But there's a time my husband looked at my mom. There's a morning she woke up very pale. Yeah. He came and told me, but you. Ah, you had gone to sure. greet her. No, we were leaving the house oh, to go to hospital, and he was coming back from his morning um, routine. Oh, he yes. normally goes to work out in the morning, so yeah. he had just come out at the point when mm-hmm. we were leaving. And he greeted her a bit, mm-hmm. and he saw her, and he called me and said, Mm. God, this is not a very good sight I'm seeing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's realistic anyway, very realistic. I think he saw that, eh, where we are headed. Mm. Let's prepare. We, we need to prepare. But of course, he didn't give me much of that you know, negative vibe. But I also have friends that have held me. Mm. Manuela, Sarah, Majo, and Rachel, Rachel. you yeah. girls. Ah, I don't know how to thank you. Because there are times when you need a friend. But yeah. there are times when you need a friend. Yeah. This time I needed friends to be there for me. And they were there. Oh. They kept me. I think Manuela and Sarah didn't go home for two from days. The day like the from that day. Yeah, yeah from yeah. that night. Yeah. Then they... It was crazy. From the, the first vigil then church then we had to go to the village for like then they kept me for two extra days in the village because we couldn't leave you know daddy there alone yeah Yeah, so they kept me there and they you know they just disorganize you with all sorts of stories so that you're not (laughs) distracting distracting came bump lab it was a pleasure i saw ben mwine and the (laughs) wife oh my god you guys you were such a support the, the guys that I went to school with is Thai guys. People stood with me. Mom, yeah. They collected money. All my friends that stood with me, guys, I can't thank you enough. But wow. my soul sisters, my sisterhood really held yeah. me. They yeah. prayed yeah. with me. I needed them and they were there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were such a support. Yeah, they were such a support. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't take it for granted. We will have, we will let's talk positive things because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, if you could recall, some, what are some of your favorite memories with your mom? Oh my God, there are quite a number. But I think one that stands out is when I had my child. That's when I, that cardboard, that's when you understand your mother. Your mom, eh? yeah. When I had my first child, she was there. Mm. She treated me like a baby. I felt her love so much, so, so, so much. I started bonding with her on a mature level, like we had now passed this level of money. Yeah, it's like there's a line. Right? Yeah, there's a line. Now you've crossed over. I crossed the line. And, um, you know, she would always speak positivity in my life. I guess that's where most of my positive vibes come from. She'll be like, no, you can make it. You're strong. You know, when I'm ranting about some, she will abuse you also <laughs> in the phone. Hey, I dare report Pumula. Who is she? <laughs> what? How dare, dare she? How dare you? How dare you? This is my daughter we are talking about. Wow. So we had that vibe. She would also tell me her stories. Um, those are some of the fondest memories, the ones where I was a mother and uh, I just related with her on, 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 a, different on, a, very, on, on, a, on a very good level. But also my Kuchala, mm. when um, she knew that, you know, I was now ready for marriage. Um, you know, she was very excited. Like, I, w- I would be the one telling her, but I don't tell everyone. It's just a kuchala. <laughs> it's just a kuchala. But yeah. she collected the people, her friends to the village. <laughs> Come and see. <laughs> hey, but it's so oh, man. Man. they have brought <laughs> for us a man. Yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I was there with her. And she's telling you all these things. Oh, but you have to be a good wife. But I must tell this story, guys. When I got married, mm. Did I want to leave home? I didn't want to leave my mother. <laughs> I was so used I to leave 
I'm driving back to my yeah. I say, away, to my mom. My husband had to call me like two weeks into the wedding. Can you please come, come home? home? <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, I was wow. so used Mommy to. Loved you so good. Like you we had. Go back home. Also, I'm like I have to take for halugambo. Like every day we had something to talk about. Oh. Yeah. So it took me a while to snap oh. out of. <laughs> Chocolate to snap day. out of, I don't have to go to my mom. <laughs> now I have to stand <laughs> as a married woman. Oh, but they're trying to run away from their homes. Right? Where so you are going, going back. back. Oh, it's together. It's together. I really wanted to run out. I, I wanted to run away from many things. Yeah. The community, the setting, guys. I didn't want to be in that state, but, but I wanted mom. to be with my mom. Yeah. I wanted to be with my mom. If she would have moved in with you, you'd have been happy. Oh, together. <laughs> but would she, you guys, Could until my mom's husband. sickness, yeah. she, that chick never came to visit. She gave us her our space. Oh, La, yeah, yeah, she wasn't those moms of let me come to check on you today. Did you mm. cook chicken? She well, like, no. ah, I'll cook chicken in my home. <laughs> Did you, you keep for him the design? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, she never, like, she would never come. Random visits. Uh, it was just this time when she was It was, was just Ill. this time, yeah. Wow. And you could tell she, like, really didn't want, but she was vulnerable. She had nothing to do. Mm. Yeah. Oh, but, wow. Banaki, guys, the memories are so many. Yeah, there are so many. I actually thought you took after mom. your dad, but the more you speak, Not at all. I wish I had like met mom. her. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, it was yeah. the mom. Oh my her. God, you the mom. She would. I'm so what sad that you didn't even meet her. Of course, yeah. she watched that show. But for my Sarah Manuela, yeah. hey, she's yeah. yeah. She like she came to bury Sarah's mom. Yeah. Sarah's mom passed, passed about four years ago. Mm -hmm. But like she would welcome her. In fact, every time she would call her, Manage, how am I Bazukulu? She yeah. real uh, you real become a daughter, daughter. also. Mm -hmm. She That's would be cool. very welcoming. Yeah, she would fall in love with you guys, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, but my dad, eh, my dad lost lost a girl. Mm -hmm. You people. I can imagine. Hmm? Yes. We lost. But, but you're yeah, but um, I think my parting shots, man, again, enough of story time. <laughs> <laughs> enough of my story time. Oh my. Um, I choose positivity. Oh, I always. choose to be happy. Mm -hmm. I know there's a God, you guys, God comforted me. Yeah. Do you hear yeah. me talking about how, how, uh, how much of a friend she was? Yeah. Eh? There's a point on that barrier day I looked for tears. And God was literally telling me, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I well, would feel it. Stronger than yes. I imagined. Because when I, when I came, you greeted me with such a hug. I was like, oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. No. Mm. You were really strong. There's, and you I, guys, I love there's that a for strength. You. I, can, I can't even explain it. Yeah. It's not your doing. It, yeah. it wasn't my doing. Yeah, okay. It was good, guys. I felt his embrace. Mm. Do you know how you held? Mm. Like it is hard, but you're held. Smile, child. I got you. Yeah. You're gonna make it. Yeah. You're gonna be well. It is well mm. with your soul. Yeah. Mm. It's important that we look into some of these perspectives that Panagi don't have to. You know how everyone and I felt it in my spirit. I'm like, eh, I know people are there saying Panagi. These people That's lost their mom, Bambi, yes. because they knew everyone knew how close we were. we were. I think I actually knew they must they must have been thinking Bambi were in too much pain. The mm. truth is God held us. Mm. It it wasn't our doing. God held us. We came out like my sister, my brother, dad. Wow. There's a strength we got yeah. that I can't I honestly can't lie. Yeah. I can't lie. Like it would hit you here and there. Yeah. But there's a strength. I thought the Lord embraced me yeah. and tell me it is well and tell me in fact, I remember that speech I gave, guys. I'm like, we need to, because death is a given. Mm. Everyone must test death. But how prepared are you? Mm. Yeah, it's okay to prepare, to be insured, to buy the best casket. Mm. But are you, are you preparing your soul for the next life? Mm. Are you preparing your spirit? Because there's an afterlife. We are spiritual beings, yeah? Because this physical body, yeah? People have gotten sick and you're like, this fat chick, where did all the weight go? Mm? This is just a body. They're going to bury it. But your inner being, the inner man, the spirit in you lives on. Mm. Many times you actually feel her presence. Mm. Yeah? Mm. 
And I think for many people that have lost their parents, they yeah, relate. They feel like, eh, I feel like mom's spirit is here. Because mm. it's a spirit. Mm. That's, the, the body will be laid to rest, but the spirit lives, lives on. on. Yeah. So how are you preparing your spirit? Are you the evil spirit that is going to continue here bothering people? Or you're being better yeah. as we preach? Being better. To be a better soul. Mm -hmm. To be a soul that the Lord will, you know, accept and appreciate that even when your person has died. You're like, I celebrate. Yeah. Eh? And because I'll see them again. And I'll see them again. Yeah. So for me, I hold on to that. I'm like, yeah, until next time. Mm -hmm. Until we meet again. Mm -hmm. It doesn't end here. Yeah. We are on a journey. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I mean, all of us. <laughs> It's yeah. rude, you know, people, we don't want to talk about we death, but about yeah, it, it, is. it is what it is. Yeah, it's best that we prepare yeah. both physically, spiritually, mentally. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rosette. Thank you for sharing. You. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you so much, Rosette. Wow. It's a pleasure. Wow. We'd like to thank all our partners. Mm -hmm. Stories are lessons learned and experiences shared with love from our planet.